Hello everyone, how are things with you? Wishing you all good health, peace and prosperity in all that you do. Now, for this episode, let's talk about intermediate phrases to level up our English speaking skills. Let's talk about expressions you can use when describing emotions, like happy, expressions we use like flying high, pumped up, over the moon, or walking on air. Next, we have sad. We have down in the dumps or feeling blue. Another one, angry. You can use bite someone's head off or makes my blood boil. Now, if you're scared or nervous, you can use these expressions, have butterflies in my stomach, or get butterflies in my stomach, or feel butterflies in my stomach. That's scared. Now, if you are extremely frightened, you can use the word petrified. Again, petrified. Extremely frightened or extremely scared. Another one is fuming. Fuming means extremely angry or extremely mad. Now, next, we have the word floored, meaning surprised or overwhelmed in a good way. And we have next, feel out of it, meaning not in a normal state of mind. And we have the last one for today. We have puzzle over, meaning to think carefully and try to understand. Now, let's use these expressions in sentences so we have a deeper understanding on its usage and how to use these expressions correctly. So, let's start with happy. Let's start with the phrase flying high. Examples, we have, she's been flying high ever since she, she passed her driver's test. Another example, she's over the moon ever since she got her driver's license. And another example, the children were walking on air after they learned that they're going on a picnic. Now let's move on to the expression to be down in the dumps, meaning sad. So we have here examples in sentences first. The truth is everyone feels down in the dumps once in a while. Second example here, I have no idea why she's so down in the dumps all week. Another one, she is down in the dumps because her best friend moved out of town. That's to be down in the dumps meaning sad. Our next phrase is bite someone's head off, meaning angry. So we have here examples. Example number one, I only asked if you could lend me $5. There's no need to bite my head off. Second example here, what's wrong with her today? I just asked a simple question and she totally bit my head off. Now remember the word bit, it is the past tense of the word bite just in case you are wondering what is the meaning of the word bit. Our next expression makes my blood boil, meaning very angry. So here are examples with these expressions. One, the news about animal cruelty makes my blood boil. Second example, when I hear stories of domestic violence, it makes my blood boil. And we have the third example here, rude people make my blood boil. Remember, makes my blood boil means very angry. Our next expression, we have have butterflies in my stomach or feel butterflies in my stomach, meaning scared or nervous. So here are some of the examples. Number one, as soon as my name was called to give my presentation, I felt butterflies in my stomach. Another example here, this English exam is so important, I've had butterflies in my stomach all day. Our next expression is 
floored, meaning surprised or overwhelmed in a good way. Examples here, I was floored by my student's gesture. Another one, I was floored by the party they organized for me. And the third example, after I opened my gift, I was floored. It was so beautiful. Next here, fuming, meaning very, very angry. Examples, my sister is fuming about my nephew's grade in school. Another example, my father is fuming about the broken clock. That's fuming, meaning very, very angry. Our next expression, kicking myself for. This is an expression of regret. So here are the examples. One, I'm kicking myself for not buying groceries yesterday. Now, I have nothing to cook. Second example, I'm kicking myself for not studying my lessons last night. Now, I find the exam difficult. Alrighty, people, that's it for now. I hope you learned something of value from this episode. And if you like my contents, show some love, subscribe, like, share, and press the notification bell so you will be notified for our next upload. Thank you once again for your company, my delightful English family. I love you guys. Share your love to the people around you. Give them a hug. Give them your attention and kind words. Life is all about loving each other, okay? Stay safe. God bless us all. Enjoy the rest of the day. Until next time, peace out.